Hi, my name is Gracia. I'm from North Platte High. Choo-choo! I'm a, and this poem is called, Sometimes I Wonder. Of course, they didn't understand. They wouldn't. How did a daughter who was raised to be seen and not heard expect her parents to listen? How did I expect them to open their minds? It takes all of my fingers and toes to count our differences. Don't get me wrong. I have so much respect for the people who raised me well enough that I question things. And yet, I have a mother who simply doesn't understand that I can't just get over it. A father who has no sympathy for those who struggle more than he does. In this family, we walk tall and proud. We condemn anything that goes against what we believe. We show no respect for anyone else. We have opinions, and if you don't agree, then screw you. Now shut up and eat your steak, Grisha. Sometimes I wonder which of my parents would have a heart attack first if they found out their daughter wanted to be an artist instead of a doctor or a lawyer. Probably both at the same time. Their political beliefs were shoved so far down my throat that I had to heave them all back up. My father stood so heavily on the right that I feared the scale would break if I didn't step to the left. It's hard. It's so hard pretending to be oblivious to all the pain in the world when you have so much passion, so much to say. I'm not willing to let go of my words in order to be conventional. My parents have near perfect eyesight. However, their tunnel vision has caused them to miss a lot of hurt and hate. Uh, they've also missed some amazing life-altering things, things that I'm in love with, art and music and slam poetry. And because they can't see them, they're not used to them. And because they're not used to them, they won't support my love of them. Sometimes I wonder, do they want me to succeed so that I can be happy or so that they can use me for bragging rights? And how can they expect so much from a daughter who's been taught that she was only average? There was this, this lilac bush that used to grow in our backyard. It was so big and beautiful. Come spring, it attracted hundreds of colorful birds and but butterflies. I loved it. One day, my father went out in the yard with an ax and cut the whole thing down. He said it was an inconvenience to him, so he made sure it never would be again. The birds and the butterflies never came back. Sometimes I feel like that bush. Sometimes I wonder about that bush and what it would still be like if it grew. Sometimes I wonder if I would still be the same person if I were raised differently. I know you can't change the past, but still, sometimes I wonder.